will now come to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus, Alderwoman Flowers, Alderman Bosley, Alderman Moore, Alderwoman Hubbard, Alderwoman Ingracia, Alderwoman Young, Alderman Conway, Alderman Ortman, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Villa, Alderman Arnowitz, Alderman Wessels, Alderman Howard, Alderman Florida, Alderman Barringer, Alderman Rody, Alderman Kennedy, Alderman Davis, Alderman Schmidt, Alderman Prince, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vaccaro, Alderman Ogilvy, Here. Alderman Cohn, Alderman Williamson, Alderman Carter, Alderman Crewson, President Reed, Here. Alderman Tyus, Alderman Flowers, Alderman Bosley, Alderman Moore, Alderman Ingracia, Alderman Conway, Alderman Ortman, Alderman Wessels, Alderman Howard, Alderman Rody, Alderman Davis, Alderman Williamson, Alderman Carter, 17 present. Quorum being present, we will be led today in prayer by Pastor Charles Brown, who's also the uh, chairman or president of the clergy coalition, and they do all kinds of fantastic things around the city. But before we begin prayer today, I'll ask that we all stand in a moment of silent prayer uh, for, for the family and friends of Jerry Wessels, and you know his brother Fred Wessels is alderman of the 13th Ward, and his wife Linda also works for the city, uh, mourning his passing. So let's join, join me in a moment of silence. Pastor Brown. Let us pray. Eternal most gracious God, our Father, it is again, Lord God, that we come in the name of Jesus. We come thank you for our early rising. Thank you, Lord, for allowing our law body to assemble. We ask, Father God, that thou would go with them, guide them, help them, Lord, to make laws that are govern the people, use them and lead them in the way that thou would have them to go. Bless our president, go with him and guide him. Bless the law body and bless our mayor. In Jesus' name we do pray, amen. Can everyone join me in a, uh, an applause for Pastor Brown, because I tell you what, the Clergy Coalition, they are working tirelessly throughout our community, no matter what, and they really, really make sure that they continue to be part of our community, they get involved in things to try to make sure that they keep positive change come on, going on throughout our season. So join me in a round of applause for Pastor, Pastor Brown and the Clergy Coalition. Spend with our regular order of business, take up our courtesy resolution calendar, I move for adoption of our courtesy resolution calendar, and obtain a second of that motion, seconded by the alderman from the 22nd. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, motion carries. We also have with us today um, Roy Roundtree. And Roy, could you please join me at the dais? Roy has, I mean, this guy has done some phenomenal things in helping us in the city. Now he's taking a job at a law firm uh, in his home city. He's going to tell us about it. And I tell you what, we will miss you here in the city of St. Louis. Roy, you did a fantastic job working with this board of aldermen. And I, for one, want to make sure that uh, you understand how much it meant to me 
and my family and, and friends the work that you put in. You work seven days a week around the clock to make sure that uh, the residents of the city of St. Louis had those things that they needed. So let's give Roy a round of applause real quick. Any further comments? Any further comments? Anybody want to wish Rory well on his, uh, at, in his new job? Alderman from the 20th. Uh, Mr. President, actually, my condolences, sir. You <laughs> had a terrific career in technology, and now you've chosen to go wayward. I'm not sure exactly why that is. Um, also, you're going to Nebraska. I think that's a right-to-work state, so you need to be cautious, <laughs> cautious about that. Rory uh, did a terrific job. Whenever we had a question, he would refer us to uh, Harry. No, you did, a, <laughs> you did a fantastic job, sir. Great luck to you. Um, your departure is our loss. All the one from the 14th. Good morning, Rory. I hope you're feeling well this morning. Um, I will miss you, and I wish you the best in your new endeavors in Ogallala, Nebraska. I love saying that word. Uh, <laughs> and I hope to maybe get up there and visit you. It's a beautiful part of the country. Thank you for all your service. All the women from the 19th. Rory, we first met in a, a process that I love dearly, which is political campaigning. Uh, I saw in you a hard worker. I saw in you the passion and dedication that it needed to stay focused in regards to what else was going on around you. You brought your same talent here to the Board of Aldermen. And then I watched the love you have for your dog when you walk in the dog on locusts, okay? <laughs> but what I want to say to you is you're still young. And if you keep that unbiased passion that you have for what you believe in, you'll do well. And I wish you well. And thank you for the help you gave us. Alderman from the 21st. I just want to join in, um, in thanking Rory for his service here at the Board of Aldermen. It's been a pleasure working with you. Um, we've worked together in several different capacities, so I wish you good luck. You're talented, energetic, uh, and I, I really wish you kept those talents here in the city. But hopefully you'll come back and visit us on occasion. All the women from the 15th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Rory, uh, I too have memories of working with you, Southside Field, in campaign, and I want to thank you for bringing your energy and passion here and serving our city, and we are going to miss you, and I hope you take that with you wherever you go and don't ever lose it. Thank you. Alderman from the 12th. Thank you, Mr. President. Rory, I just want to uh, say thank you for a short time I've known you. Uh, you've helped me when I asked you for help, gave me an opinion which I really appreciate it. Um, hate to see you leave, but I understand moving on to bigger and better things. <clears throat> we hope you still root for Mizzou because Nebraska's not doing as well, you know. But anyway, uh, I wish you luck in your future endeavors, and it's been a pleasure. And we really hate to see this talent leave, but I understand. Thank you. Any further discussion? All the women from the second. Yes, thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Rory, I, you have always had a smile on your face, your little ball of joy. I think we've shared a couple of beers. It was even better together <laughs> after that. But it was a pleasure working with you, and um, we will miss you. Don't have a long speech. I just wish you luck, and uh, come back and see us. Have another beer, OK? Thank you. Alderman from the ninth. You know, I really don't know what to say, because I know you'll be back. Um, but it's, I think, a little bit more enjoyable when we would meet down at 11th and Sydney. And I think you actually got a parking lesson, where not to park, where to park. So um, take that to Nebraska with you. Maybe you can teach them something. Um, but I'll look forward to seeing you when you come back. And hopefully the young Dems can meet again and have a little bit of fun. Congratulations and good luck. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? The board also has a couple books for you. Uh, Tom, could you grab Mary? I need the books. Yeah. Yeah. Could you bring, bring them up? Yeah. Yeah. Don't cry, Mary. <laughs> 
Mary's about to cry, so we'll keep her at it. Otherwise, otherwise, we'll have you on camera crying too, and we'll send that to all of your clients. So the board, board got you a couple books also, Roy. Uh, the first one is St. Louis Politics by Lana Stein. So, so we hope that you keep this prominent on your bookshelf so that when people come, come there, they know where you cut your teeth here in St. Louis politics. The second one is uh, the 60-second leader. And I believe most of the members of the board have signed the inside of, of both of these books. And if they haven't, we're going to give, uh, we'll send them around one more time to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to sign these so that when Roy goes back, he remembers that St. Louis is where you grew up, where <laughs> you grew up in business. <laughs> And then, uh, I, and this is where you cut your teeth. So again, thanks, Roy, for all that you've done uh, on behalf of the residents of the city of St. Louis, and congratulations on your new law practice out at home. You want to talk for a second? Sure. I uh, I've attended enough of these meetings that I know my brevity will be appreciated. <laughs> But I, I just want to say thank you um, to each and every one of you. I, I, I know what you do is, is not easy. Uh, I know a lot of things are, are fairly thankless. Um, but it's, it's very important. Um, and as, as Lewis said, I, I did kind of grow up, cut my teeth, especially in politics, and as a professional in, in St. Louis. And I will always uh, hold that dear, uh, the, the lessons I've learned and, and the people I've met. St. Louis really has kind of become home, and I will, I will miss you all. Thank you very much. While Roy is on his way out, I will tell you a story, what his mother told me. When he was born, uh, you know, Roy was a cattle rancher. His father, they owned a cattle ranch, and when he was born, the mother and father had a long discussion about what they were going to name him because the father wanted to name him Rowdy Rex Roundtree. And her mother, his mother said, that ain't happening because I am not going to have a rodeo clown for, for a son. So that, that's how they ended up with Roy. And we're glad that she won that argument. She had me rolling on the floor when she was telling me that story over lunch. And she enjoyed telling me the story about how she fought with your father to make sure your name was Roy opposed to Rowdy. So again, thanks, Roy, and congratulations, Rowdy. Let's give him one more round of applause. All right, we'll turn to our regular order of business. Introduction, round of guests. Any introduction, round of guests? Alderman from 23rd. Yes, Mr. President, I'd like to have as my honored guest Joe Steiger from the Police Association. He's the newly elected president there. Gary Otten from the Painters. Celeste Reeder from the Realtors. And Al from Local 73. Okay. Alderman from the 22nd. I want to thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Uh, my esteemed guest today is Chris Pickle and Leroy Grant with AT&T. All right. Alderman from the 9th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have for my honored guest today, Ronnie Auer, and he's actually with us. <laughs> Welcome back, Ron. Alderman from the 28th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have as my very special guest today the fourth graders from New City School who are in the gallery. And I want to thank them for the new New City coffee cup with candy. So awesome. thank you and welcome, New City. All one from the 16th. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, and members of the board. I would like to have as my special guest today Gina Hackenworth with Clee, David Holmes with the Plumbers and Pipe Fitters, and Anthony Lancia with the AGC. All in from the 26th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have as my honored guest today will be Ms. Robinson from Amory and UE, and also uh, the former comptroller, Fervis Jones. Thank you. All in right. from the 14th. I'd like to introduce as my special guest, Gary Otten from Painters District Council Number 2. All in from the 18th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to introduce two special guests today. They're both the Coro Fellows who are here visiting the board. Uh, Mr. Marcus Brown to my left, 
who was originally from Little Rock, Arkansas, but went to Washington University, has been here some time, and then Christopher Reed, who is from San Diego here as a Coro Fellow. All right. Welcome. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? Alderman from the 10th, like to wrap us up. I'd like to request that Alderman from the 8th quit using this microphone. <laughs> I am without a guest today. My guest is home celebrating what is November 15th, which we should all go home and do today is National Clean Out Your Refrigerator Day. So I hope you'll all join us and come to my tavern and clean out my beer boxes with me today. Thank you. All right. All the one from the seventh, you recognize on approval of the minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I move for approval of our minutes from November 1st. Moved by the all in from the 7th, seconded by the all in from the 20th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Report of city officials. Report of city officials can be found in sections A, B, and C of the agenda and have been placed in all Alderman's mailboxes. We'll dispense with line item 7. Would anyone like to take any of the bills off of any of our informal calendars? Would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? Dispense with line items 8 through 10, first reading board bills. Board bill 232, sponsored by Alderman Ogilvy, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of property from a single family dwelling district to, and F neighborhood commercial district to the F neighborhood commercial district only for property at 7207 Piccadilly and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 233, sponsored by Alderman Schmidt, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of property from B2 Family Dwelling District to the J Industrial District for property at 3652 through 60 Marine and 111 Winnebago and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 234, sponsored by Alderman Schmidt, an ordinance pertaining to special use districts establishing the Marine Min Winnebago Casiosco warehouse area special use district providing definitions and finding findings pertaining to said district and further providing use regulations for said district board bill 235 sponsored by alderman rody and ordinance recommended by the planning commission james is owning a property as indicated on the central west end farm based district map form ncti one neighborhood center type one zone for property at 40 50 4 through 66 West Pine Boulevard so as to include the described parcel of land in section 1 below and in city block 3920 the neighborhood general type 3 zone in uh, the attached amended exhibit B and amended exhibit C and established under ordinance 69406 and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 236 sponsored by Alderman Kennedy and ordinance recommended by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment authorizing and directing the St. Louis Municipal Finance Corporation to issue and sell the city corp to sell the corporation's city parks leasehold improvement dedicated revenue bond series 2013 in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $26 million in order to fund all or a portion of the planting of trees and other landscape materials in the right of way of and design and construction, renovation, equipping, and installation of long lasting essential capital improvements to certain city parks and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 237, sponsored by Alderwoman Tyus and artists pertaining to parking within the 4200 through 4400 North Euclid Avenue Residential Parking District, authorizing the traffic administrator to designate the, the location and restrictions for curb parking of residential parking zones within the 4200 through 4400 North Euclid Avenue Residential Parking District residential parking district containing definitions of penalty clause and an emergency clause. Board Bill 238, sponsored by Alderman Woman Tyus and Ernest pertaining to parking within the 5,000 block of Maffitt Avenue residential parking district, authorizing the traffic administrator to designate the location and restrictions for curb parking of the residential parking zones within the 5,000 of of Maffitt Avenue Residential Parking District containing definitions of penalty clause and an emergency clause. 
Board Bill 239, sponsored by Alderwoman Young, and on a designated portion of the city as a redevelopment area known as 706 Market Redevelopment Area, establishing the 706 Market Special Allocation Fund containing a severability clause. Board Bill 240, sponsored by Alderwoman Young, and on a affirming adoption of a redevelopment plan, redevelopment area, redevelopment project, authorizing the execution of a redevelopment agreement between the city and Market TIF containing a severability clause. Board Bill 241, Sponsored by Alderwoman Young and earnest recommended by the, S by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the issuance and delivery of not to exceed $8,148,000 plus issuance cost principal amount of tax revenue notes for a 706 market redevelopment project, prescribing the form and details of such notes and covenants and agreements made by the city to facilitate and project the payment thereof prescribing other matters relating thereto and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 242, sponsored by Alderwoman Flowers, and ordinance moving an amendment to the Taylor Carey Tiff redevelopment plan, removing certain property from the redevelopment area and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 243, sponsored by Alderwoman Flowers, and ordinance designating the portion of the city as a redevelopment area known as the Carey Avenue redevelopment area and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 244, sponsored by Alderwoman and flowers and orders affirming adoption of a redevelopment agreement, redevelopment area, and a redevelopment project area, authorizing the execution of a redevelopment agreement between the city and Carrie Tiff and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 245, sponsored by Alderwoman Flowers and Ornance, recommended by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the issuance and delivery of not to exceed $2,100,000 plus issuance costs, principal amount of tax increment revenue notes for Cary Avenue redevelopment project and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 246, sponsored by Alderman Wessels and Ordinance, determining that the tax increment and financing plans listed in Exhibit A are making satisfactory progress under the proposed time schedule for completion of projects therein. Board Bill 247, sponsored by Alderman Wessels and Ordinance, dissolving the special allocation funds for La Cleve Powerhouse redevelopment area and 1900 Washington Redevelopment Area. Board Bill 248, sponsored by Alderman Wessels and Ornus, dissolving special allocation funds for 4249 Michigan Redevelopment Area, South Carondelet District 3 Redevelopment Area, 503 North Tucker Boulevard Redevelopment Area, 3150 South Grand Redevelopment Area, and Sky Wheel St. Louis Redevelopment Area. That's the extent of first readings. Reference to committee. To the Ways and Means Committee, Board Bill 236 to the Streets Committee, Board Bills 237, 238 to the Housing Committee, Board Bills 232, 233, 234, 235, 239, 240, 241, 242, 243, 244, 245, 246, 247, and 248. That's the extent of reference to committee. Second reading. The following Board Bill was reported out of the Public Safety Committee, Board Bill 224, Committee Substitute. Sponsored by all the women and all the men, all the women Young, all the women Florida, all the men Arnowitz, all the men Wessels, all the women Howard, all the men Kennedy, all the women Davis, all the men Schmidt, all the men Vaccaro, all the men Cone, all the women Cruson, and President Reed in ordinance pertaining to the transfer of real property, police property from the Board of Police Commissioners to the City of St. Louis as a result of the merger of the, the Board and the City pursuant to Section 84.5. 344.42 of the Revised Statute of Missouri contain, pertaining to the um, amendment of certain bond documents relating to outstanding police capital improvement sales tax leasehold revenue bonds. That's the extent of second reading. We will dispense with line item 14, perfection consent. Board Bill 219, sponsored by All the Women Florida and Ordinance to regulate employer and employee working relationships between the city and all employees under the classified service, including a compensation plan, terms and conditions of employment, benefits, amending Ordinance 69189, repealing Section 1 and 2 by replacing said sections with provisions of this ordinance, in, including an emergency clause. Board Bill 212, sponsored by All the Women Florida and Ordinance approving 
a blighted study and a redevelopment plan for 4215 Connecticut and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 205, committee substitutes sponsored by Alderwoman Crewson and Norton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 5774 DeGiverville and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 206, sponsored by Alderman Ortman and Norton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 2406 McNair and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 207, sponsored by Alderman Ortman and Norton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 2404 McNair and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 208, sponsored by Alderman Ortman and Norton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 2048 Victor and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 211, sponsored by Alderwoman Young and Norton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 2224 Indiana and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 213, sponsored by Alderman Ogilvy and Norton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 6905 Weiss and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 214, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis, and Orton is approving a, block, approving a redevelopment plan for 2905 through 2937 Olive. Board Bill 217, sponsored by Alderman Schmidt, and Orton is approving a redevelopment plan for 2728 Cherokee. Board Bill 218, sponsored by Alderman Rohde, and Orton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 1214 South Boyle. Board Bill 220, sponsored by Alderman Cohn, and Norton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 4318 Virginia and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 222, sponsored by Alderwoman Ingracia, and Norton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 301 South Ewing and containing a severability clause. Board Bill 223, sponsored by Alderman Villa, and Norton is approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for 7716 Vermont and containing a severability clause, that's the extent of perfection consent. All the one from the seventh, you recognize on the motion for the perfection consent calendar. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move for, um, final, for passage of the perfection consent, perfection of the, of the perfection consent bills. calendar. <laughs> all right, moved by all the one from the seventh, seconded by all the one from the twelfth. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. We'll dispense with line items 15, 16 and 17, third reading, report of engrossments. Board Bill 198, 198 Committee Substitute, sponsored by Alderman Wessels and Ordinance, recommended by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing the Mayor to submit a 2014 annual plan to the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development to apply for funding under the Federal Community Block Grant Home Investment Partnership Emergency Solutions Grant and Housing Opportunities for Persons with AIDS Entitlement Programs containing an emergency clause. All the women from the 19th, you recognize on third reading and final passage of Board Bill Number 198, Committee Substitute. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I move for final passage and approval of Board Bill 198, Committee Substitute. Moved by the women from the 19th, seconded by half the chamber. But I will take all the men from the ninth. Could all right. Please proceed, all the women. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. As you know, we have been um, working very diligently along with the uh, members and directors of the Community Development Block Grant Agency, the Mayor's Executive Committee, the Budget Committee, and all those involved in trying to establish appropriate funding and appropriation on behalf of the City of St. Louis and those who will receive services uh, with uh, HUD funds. It has been difficult, it has been limited, and I believe that every member of this board has done their best to make sure that the city is represented well with these expenditures. Unfortunately, it is not enough money, we all know that. But we will pass this, I pray today, and we will pass it without unnecessary problems. I believe in this board today. I know that we have had challenges. I know that we are not happy. I am not happy. But this is what we have to deal with today. When you look at the specific areas of expenditures, we know that we need more. But we don't have it. We know that. But we have worked very hard. I have to even say to those who are not on the HUD committee, many of the aldermen came in, spent their time adding the information to uh, help us figure this out. Uh, they were passionate about it. You know how passionate we were last week at the uh, last committee hearing that we had. Um, the chairman showed us how he felt about it, but we also moved forward even after that. Uh, I even asked the chairman to give us a few minutes 
to uh, take time to look at two specific programs. One was High Point, the other one was the program to uh, deal with feeding the uh, AIDS uh, residents that we have in our community. We were unable to figure out a way to give additional funding. But that does not mean that this city will stop in any form or fashion with any resources we have to assist them in other areas outside of this block grant application. So I will commit myself to that. I've already said that to uh, the members of CDA and to the mayor's office. We must make sure that we take care of our citizens. So I renew my motion. Thank you. All right. Alderman from the 24th. Thank you, Mr. President. I think um, it, it is uh, relevant to point out that, that there are a number of senior citizens in St. Louis who rely on the services of some of the agencies that the committee chose to take money away from against the recommendation of CDA. And there will be many unnecessary problems, I believe, uh, that those people will encounter uh, be because of that recommendation. Um, I think there, there absolutely was a way we could have funded those organizations. Um, there were many amendments last week that would have allowed uh, those organizations to receive funding and not um, and not uh, killed other programming that the block grant money funds as well. And I, I think it's, um, it's just unfortunate that uh, none of those amendments passed because I, I think we could, obviously no bill's gonna be perfect, but I, I honestly believe we could have had a better bill passed, at a, passed through the board last week that would have better served um, the residents of our city. Uh, so I, 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 I do hope that uh, we can uh, figure out a creative way to make those organizations or keep those organizations in business uh, through some other revenue stream because if we don't, um, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be citizens in St. Louis who are really hurt by those cuts. So uh, those are my comments. All right, thank you. Any further comments? Any further discussion? Further discussion? Further discussion? All the one from the 19th, you recognize the close. Uh, thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. Uh, as we move forward for the year of 2014, it's going to be required for all of us to be present, to be creative, and to be cooperative. Uh, as, we, as we pass this bill today, we know this is just the beginning of a hard road. I renew my motion to final passage and approval of Board Bill 198, committee substitute. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Tyus. Alderman Flowers. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderman Hubbard. Alderman Ingracia. Alderman Young. Alderman Conway. Alderman Ortman. Alderman Vollmer. Alderman Villa. Alderman Arnowitz, Alderman Wessels, Alderman Howard, Alderman Florida, Alderman Barringer, Alderman Rohde, I didn't hear you. Alderman Kennedy, Alderman Davis, Alderman Schmid, Alderman French. Alderman Boyd, Aye. Alderman Vaccaro, no. Alderman Ogilvy, no. Alderman Cohn, Aye. Alderman Williamson, Aye. Alderman Carter, Aye. Alderman Crewson, Aye. President Reed, Aye. Alderman Moore, Alderman Arnowitz, present. Alderman Wessels, twenty I votes, five no votes, one present, one abstain. By a vote, you abstain the motion, and all the one for the ninth.
19th and third read and finally passed board bill number 198 committee substitute that's the extent of third reading report of engrossment and final passage Report of enrollment committee board bill 198 committee substitute all other business being suspended the president shall in open session affix his signature here too to the end that these may become law First reading of resolutions. Resolution 165, sponsored by Alderwoman Young and Alderwoman Flowers, the Board of Aldermen of Bonner's review of the increase as proposed by the Port Authority Board of Commissioners and approved by the Board of Public Service, the, the said Board of Aldermen hereby approves the current adjusted base rate for rental of all land owned by the city, which is situated within the Port District, shall be 0.17654 per square foot, and the mooring rental rates shall be $17.625 per linear foot, which each rate on an annual basis upon approval by the St. Louis Board of Public Service and the St. Louis Board of Aldermen. All the one from the 70, recognize on first reading of resolution number 165. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I'd like to have Resolution 165 referred to the Transportation and Commerce Committee. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 7th. They entertain a second on that motion. Second by the Alderman from the 9th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Madam Clerk, please assign the aforementioned bill on Resolution 165 to Transportation. So noted. That's the extent of first reading of resolution. Second reading. We have none. Miss Lane, it's unfinished business. We have none. Announcements. Great Rivers Greenway will be in the Kennedy Room prior to the full Board of Aldermen in the Leisure Room uh, to meet with the Aldermen and a light breakfast is provided. Tuesday, Transportation and Commerce Committee meeting, 9 a.m. in the Leisure Room. Wednesday, Housing Committee meeting, 10 a.m. in the Kennedy Room. Also on Wednesday, Public Safety Committee meeting, 10 p.m. in the, I'm sorry, 2 p.m. in the leisure room, in the leisure room. Parks committee meeting, 1 p.m. in the Kennedy room. Friday, full board meeting, 10 a.m. in the chambers. That's the extent of my announcements. Alderman from third. Uh, Mr. President, members of the board, any alderman that has a bill in the streets committee, we will meet at 11 o'clock Thursday. So tell the president and the clerk what board bill you might want heard so that it can be advertised properly. All right, thank you, Alderman. Alderman from the 25th. Thank you, Mr. President. I feel like the Alderman from the 8th stole my microphone at some point <laughs> this meeting. He's been, he's been skipping around. Uh, he has been, he's a spry person. <laughs> uh, I actually, uh, thank you for recognizing me. I would, I, I would appreciate, uh, um, actually, I would like to recognize that uh, a member of the uh, Aldermanic team uh, is actually celebrating an anniversary today. Michael Powers and his partner, Matt Morning, who also oh, works wow. for the city, are celebrating eight years together today. Awesome. So congratulations to the two of them. He was hiding that from us. Thanks for letting us know. <laughs> Alderman from the eight. This microphone because the... Uh, Alderwoman from the second is going on a, a 72 hour silent retreat, so yeah. <laughs> she won't need this anytime soon. <laughs> um, we'll have a transportation and safety, uh, I mean, transportation and commerce meeting Tuesday at 9 a.m. Thank you. All right, thank you. Oh. All of them from seventh? Nothing. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? All of them from the seventh? You recognize on motion to excuse. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I would like to excuse the aldermen from the 4th and the aldermen for the 13th for their necessary absence. Second. We've been moved by the alderman from the 7th, seconded by the alderman from the 25th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All alderman from the 7th, you recognize on the motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move that we adjourn this meeting until November 22nd. 
Move, moved by the alderman from the seventh. Seconded by the alderman from the 22nd. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned.